Hey, Conroy, what you got? Hey, doggy. I'm going to enter a Pokemon tournament, but I don't have any Pokemon. So... I choose you! Nope. Hmm. Whippin' Boy, I choose you! Conroy Cat! Wait, what? <laughs> Seriously? What? I already trained you on being a drone. Might as well be your trainer for this, too. And what sort of attack should I pick? Hurry up and pick something good! All right, already! Keep your non-existent pants on! Primony, they all seem weird. What does this do? <laughs> these guys is now part of your training regiment. Uh, uh. And now it's time for Ask a Chew. Madmod40096 from DeviantArt asks, Dear Doggy, what's funnier, the anvil or the dynamite? Hmm, you know, that's actually a good question. Let's find out! Hey Conroy, catch! Huh? What? Pretty funny. I think we should test it a few more times. What? All right, sir. Here's your flamingo. I gotta say, I always took you for more of a tea drinking person. All right. Ugh. All right. Here's your heart attack waiting to happen. A cow eating a hamburger. All right. That'll be five dollars fifty cents. Oh. Stanley, did you buy two? Stanley, mine! Card slash! Yeah, apparently we don't take that card here. Insert cool animation reference here, tunes these days already. Finally, a cartoon that admits that it's annoying! Doesn't ever forgive anything about how it's so galafunkaliciously stupidastic. Heck, is this even a cartoon? The designs are just photographs edited into some god finangled fancy graphic slap happy editing pixel machine. And there are even shots of a live action actor at times. Who cares about the stories? It's just an orange having fun doing whatever it is with his friends! I am more entertained by my lunch than these guys! And I eat them! Unsurprisingly, this is the creation of two online party animals who just happened to break into television. Whatever! I mean, really, what are the chances of a short cartoon web series on YouTube and Blip TV possibly making it big? Has mankind been so cruel to bestow this horrid abomination in the Sonic franchise to torture its fans? Oh, Sonic. 
Never quite got that hedgehog on Ritalin's first show. And I don't get why he needed this so-so revival with that red baron of a Dr. Egg scrambling company when he already had a steadily declining success. More like Sonic Bust, am I right? <laughs> But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna put the nearest hospital on speed dial because I'm turning the fanboys whining into a drinking game! So if I follow the, all the cartoons on this hedgehog, we've gone from wacky shenanigans, action drama, rock band revolution, cross-dimension anime weirdness, and then back to wacky shenanigans. Proving the more some things change, the more the fans of this franchise have wasted their life! I thought the war was over! Why is everyone wearing bandages?! For the love of DeviantArt, do all video game characters now look like inbred Mad Max hipsters? If this red person is called Knuckles because he has spikes on his knuckles, then how come this blue person isn't called Back? There's no logic here! All the characters have been redesigned. Sonic has a bunch of bandages, Knuckles hit up the steroids, Tails thinks he's the leader from Digiman now, and Amy bought herself a second dress. I'd say now they look like a bunch of totally cool dudes. But let's face the facts, Sonic was always a totally cool dude! Knuckles? I knew he was a bit slow, but in this show he's a complete moron! I don't understand how he gets up in the morning without choking on his own drool! It's a smart show! By that I mean it knows it's dumb! A game so bad you'll mace a GameStop employee over? Sega, you got other video games you can adapt into cartoons. Get the hedgehog off of life support. Ah, yeah, sweet baby Huey's awkward adolescent years. It's like a bunch of different thoughts have been fighting over who controls my mouth today. I tell ya, tunes these days. I... I'm speechless. Just... Speechless. Look, I know I'm old. That's my shtick. I don't care much for cartoons past Harry Truman's time in office. I make a yoke, you laugh. I know that! But, wow, this really got me riled up. This? No other cartoon has ever made me feel as old as Breadwinners does. Nine bread delivery guys bust mechanic monster. Who gives a rip? Nothing in the show is appealing. The animation is lazy. It's attitude, obnoxious, the music, incomprehensible, and this is how you draw beaks now? I'd be surprised that these things are considered ducks, but Nick couldn't get the look of cats right years ago. This is aimed at the tiniest of newborns. This started from a YouTube flash tune that wasn't meant to go anywhere, but gained millions of hits? I believe it, Mac! I know Nickelodeon puts kids first. But can you at LEAST aim for the older crowd at the same time so we don't have to deal with the equivalent of a kid fiddling with a door stopper on the wall?! I hear the other animation networks do that just fine now! Eh, it could be worse, I suppose. It could be another problem, Solvers. <sighs> hmm? I said get back in the closet! Want more cartoons? Click on one of the videos. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can see new cartoons early by becoming a Patreon or channel member.